If anybody was hoping that like one of the Democratic parties would be like absolutely blown up by the revelations in this, it doesn't really seem to be the case. Um, and bef before you you jump in, I do want to mention also mention there were a few celebrities like David Copperfield was mentioned and Michael Jackson was mentioned. Michael Jackson apparently was at Jeffrey Epstein's house in Palm Beach. But again, no allegations of illegal acts for Michael Jackson. Um, I know everybody's been waiting to find out Jimmy Kimmel. Mm -hmm. Weird, weird that Jimmy Kimmel is not actually mentioned at all. It's almost like there was nothing going into Aaron Rodgers uh, smearing Jimmy Kimmel about that. And again, I don't even watch Jimmy Kimmel. It's just so weird to throw a late night comedian under the bus with no evidence whatsoever. So um, we're gonna get to the one person who does have uh, at the very least questionable, if not illegal acts, seems illegal. Um, but yeah, a lot of other names mentioned and other politicians, Bill Richardson, former governor. But it, it really wasn't the bombshell that I thought it would be. Is there anything that you saw that maybe I'm missing? Uh, no, I mean, I agree with you, but I kind of half expected it to ultimately be a disappointment because I feel like anything like this always, is, the hype gets built up for these big, you know, uh, coming releases or exposes, and they're almost always disappointed. Like, you know, like the Mueller report, or even like, you know, even stuff that has interesting things in it, like the Panama Papers or wherever. Over the, it's just like they seem to never amount to anything, really. And I kind of mm -hmm. figured this would be another instance of that. And it seems like it's going to be it. But yeah, I was wondering if Jimmy Kimmel and Aaron Rodgers are going to get brought up. I can't believe Aaron Rodgers just made some stuff up, you know, to uh, <laughs> demonize the guy that came out that made jokes about him. Like he's so, I mean, Aaron Rodgers, great. I'm a huge football fan, great quarterback, or whatever. But like, you know, bit of a thin skinned head case. And I think mm -hmm. you said it's so weird to bring <laughs> up a late night host. At Jimmy Kimmel just like, made some cracks about him somewhere along the way. And that's all it took for Aaron Rodgers to just throw something like that out there. But I'm hoping, you know, personally, yeah. I'm hoping that that escalates that few. <laughs> I hope, Jimmy, <laughs> hope Jimmy takes it to the cleaners. I want to see that just uh, devolve into even more drama just for my own selfish reasons. But uh, there's definitely but yeah, and a likelihood Trump, of that. The Trump thing, you were like, oh, it's a win for Trump. I feel like it almost doesn't matter what was in here in regards to Trump because, I mean, he's had these types of things come up before, you know, from the grabber by the, you know, tapes. And then there's been other allegations and rumors and stuff of these types of uh, nefarious goings on with Trump for a long time. And, you know, he's Teflon Don. None of it ever seems to stick. I doubt he was even all that worried about this, frankly, just because the way yeah. things seem to go for him. And look, honestly, at this point, First of all, I, I, I honestly, there's a lot of bad stuff about Trump, disgusting areas of his personality, his, his past and everything. But one of the areas that I have never liked to discuss is the weird comments that he's made both about his daughter and other yeah. women that girls that tend to be really young. I don't like talking about it partially because it's gross. Um, and then partially because in politics, it has become so just casual and cliche to label everyone you disagree with as a pedophile. I mean, Aaron Rodgers is literally proving that. He thinks that because Jimmy Kimmel mocked him, yeah, he's probably a pedophile. Like if Conan O'Brien made a crack about me, yeah, he's probably a cannibal. That's not how reality yeah. works. That's just not how it works. Um, but that said, there was not anything that was going to be in these documents that was going to convince you that Trump maybe is a little bit weird when it comes to that stuff. If you don't think it's weird that he talks about like when Ivanka was a baby, he was like talking about like, well, we don't know if she's gonna have the breasts of her mom, but I guess we'll see. Or like seeing like a group of little girls and then saying maybe in 10 years I'll be dating you or the allegations of him busting into the changing rooms of beauty shows where girls as young as 14 were. Again, none of that means that he has committed acts of pedophilia. Like I know that a lot of people wanna just instantly skip to that, that doesn't mean that. But it is weird, and it's super weird that the political, you know, movement that's so obsessed with pedophilia and QAnon mm -hmm. and all that stuff doesn't have any problem right. with any of that. Right? Yeah, I, I was about to bring that last part up. If you didn't, it is what. Yeah, it's not great from any perspective, but it makes it particularly weird that he has all these these old incidents and rumors and stuff that have come up, and yet he is 
supposed, according to QAnon, you know, the subsect of the far right and everything, he's supposed to be like the savior of the of traffic children and everything. Like he's like the super cop fighting against this stuff, they think. Like mm-hmm. he's the he's the caped crusader against the global cabal of vampiric pedophiles or whatever. And, you know, that part is pretty wild. But they seem they do that with him all the time. You know, they also like the uh the Christian right calls him, you know, one of the holiest of presidents we've had in recent years. And he's, you know, the the candidate of Jesus and all that, despite, you know, all the uh, divorces and improprieties and very un-Jesus-like activities. So I, none of that's really new, but it is it is wild. Yeah, 100%. So anyway, uh, they, they come out, I guess, looking okay. I mean, I, w- I would assume that Bill Clinton is probably going to have an uncomfortable conversation with Hillary Clinton, but it won't be the first. So mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe, maybe they'll cruise past this. 